All right, you guys, women are always asking me how they're supposed to know when it's safe to get back to their workouts after having a baby. If you've followed any of my content at all, you know I hate giving absolutes, but the most frustrating answer on the planet is like, it depends, right? So instead of absolutes of do's and don'ts, I'm gonna try to give you some red flags that would help you really check in with your own body and know maybe some warning signs your body's trying to give you related to your progress. So some of those could be most of the time as you're resuming your workouts, we're talking about that six to 12 week time frame. You've probably seen our video about that. So you should have stopped bleeding by now um, in terms of the normal postpartum bleeding. So if during your workout or following a workout, you have any residual spotting or increased bleeding, don't panic. It's just your body telling you that it wasn't quite healed yet and you went a little bit too hard. So that can be one sign. Another sign would be if you have any increased pressure or vaginal heaviness. Um, women are really scared of the giant P word prolapse, stay with me guys. Um, and so we don't wanna have any increased pressure or vaginal heaviness. Another thing that can be concerning is if you have new symptoms, something's causing pain, you might be leaking pee um, or feeling sort of that uh-oh feeling as you do some certain movements. Um, those can be some signs, again, take a little step back. Um, Another thing that often comes up for women is changes in bowel function or um, more constipation. And then finally, having difficulty recovering. You have to remember, especially if you're pumping or nursing, your body is burning 500 calories just making milk. And so there needs to be more nutrient replenishment. You're gonna have to be even more careful about putting really good things into your body and that recovery time, as well as I think, already said hydration. So all of those factors are going on inside your body. And so some of those flags might just be an indicator to you to back off a little bit or maybe get some additional support or guidance. We don't want you struggling. And again, I don't like giving any absolutes. So just start with a lower level of things that you used to do and see if any of these signs come up for you. We're obviously always here to help. If you have any questions or want to get yourself checked out by a pelvic physical therapist and find out exactly what's going on for your body. We'll get you back to running, CrossFit, or just taking the kids to the park.